Hello students I welcome you to all to this session on finite element method and in this session we are going to look at the static structural analysis of a cantilever using finite element commercial package I am Deepak Maslekar working as assistant professor in the department of mechanical engineering at WIT Solapur learning outcomes of this session are at the end of this session students will be able to understand what is the meaning of static structural analysis what is the significance of static structural analysis and how to solve a problem by using ansys which is a finite element software what is the meaning of a static structural analysis the meaning of word static is body is at rest and in a static structural analysis we try to investigate displacement strain stress when the body is at rest and subjected to external forces which are independent of time so when the body is acted upon by forces and the body is at rest what is the displacement at various points on the body what are the stresses at different sections what are the values of strains that we try to investigate in a static structural analysis and one should know why this analysis is necessary because with the help of static structural analysis we can find out the stresses and from the theories of failure it is well known that when the stress at a point in the loaded body becomes more than some threshold value then failure may occur and in order to avoid failure we should keep the stresses and strains within the body within a certain limit and therefore it is quite necessary to estimate the stresses strains and displacements so that the values of stress strain and displacement should not cross certain threshold let us now look at a problem here is a problem related with a cantilever beam we have a cantilever of length 250 mm diameter 50 mm and young's modulus of the beam material is 200 gigapascal at the free end of the cantilever we have applied a transverse load 3 kN axial load 15 kN and a moment 1000 newton meter and we are interested in the resultant stress at a resultant stress at b principal stresses maximum shear stress and bending stress these parameters are to be investigated so let us go to ansys workbench here is the graphical user interface of ansys workbench now here i am selecting static structural analysis so you double click on a static structural now let us define material and i call this material as material 1 so i am giving the name to the material as material 1 let us define isotropic elasticity angs modulus is how much is the angs modulus that is 200 gigapascal 200 gigapascal so this is 200 10 to the power 9 pascal let us say poisson's ratio is 0.3 once material property is defined i go to project schematic double click on geometry now i choose xy plane and i change the unit to millimeter 
length of the beam is 250 mm please keep in mind length of beam is 250 mm so i go to sketching line let us go to dimensions general click on the line and this line has length 250 mm let us convert this line into line body modeling go to concept line from sketches now sketch is drawn in xy plane sketch 1 is selected in xy plane apply line 1 generate so what I, I have done this line is converted into a line body let us assign cross section to this body let us assign cross section concept cross section circular and what is the radius of this cross section radius of the circle what is the radius of the circle 25 because diameter is 50 mm radius 25 now I choose line body and to this line body I assign a circular cross section now I got a body having circular cross section we can see this by going in view option view cross section solid and you can see this is isometric view so we have generated this body let us minimize this window and go to model So when I click on this ball, I will get isometric view. When I click on Z axis, I will get XY plane. Let us assign the material. Here is a geometry, line body. Now the default material in ANSYS is structural steel. But I have a new material named as material 1. So I have assigned material 1 to this line body go to mesh right click generate mesh let us improve the quality of mesh by sizing option resolution is made for you right click on mesh update the mesh so I have increased the mesh density let us apply boundary condition right click on static structural insert a fixed support and I am going to put a fixed support at node left node fixed support apply so at the left node I have applied a fixed support let us apply various loads at the free end so again right click on static structural apply force and force is to be applied at this node apply instead of vector just take components now the component in x direction is 15 here you can see so the force is x component is 15,000 Newton and now again I select right click on static structural here is force at this location apply instead of vector I should take component the y component is 
3 kilo newton but in the negative direction minus 3000 newton y component so at the free end two forces are applied let us apply one moment right click on static structural insert a moment I'm going to insert a moment and the moment is to be applied at this location apply instead of vector I should take components and the x component is 1000 Newton meter is the x component once we apply this moment what we can do is the following right click on static structural and solve beam section results yes Now I am going to insert, I am going to insert stress and this stress is shear stress, then in the solution I go for right click, insert, stress normal stress insert stress maximum principal stress insert stress Pending stress insert stress normal stress right click on solution and evaluate all results here you can see what is the maximum shear stress the maximum shear stress is 4.08 into 10 to the power 7 it is in pascals I change the unit what I do for changing the unit I go to home tools units and the units are metric mm so I will get a stress in megapascals so maximum shear stress is 40.828 megapascals minimum minus 40.828 megapascals normal stress is maximum bending stress is 68 this is the resultant stress this is minus 53.597 here is maximum principal stress 87 minimum principal stress 7.6 So in this way we have carried out the stress analysis. Thank you very much.